Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my channel, I just want to welcome you. Um, I'm really excited that you decided to click on this video and watch this. <laughs> um, so today's video is going to be my second time making the tulle skirt. I know with the first video I've had a lot of people requesting more details. Um, so I hope that this video accomplishes that and you're satisfied with all the details I provided. So. Um, let me just kind of talk a little bit about myself. I'm a photographer who specializes in fantasy photo shoots. And what I do is I style um, the costumes that they wear. I do the hair, the makeup. And that's kind of what this channel is all about is if you're a photographer and you're looking for something unique, something to stand out, um, doing hair, makeup, and costume pieces like this, um, like what I do, is sure is a sure way to stand out. So. Yeah, so if you're doing a maternity shoot, these skirts are great, or just doing a uh, photo shoot that's more like princess, <laughs> princess themed. Really, the possibilities are endless with it. So um, yeah, so just stay tuned. I'm going to show you exactly how I make these tool skirts that are going to sh wow everybody. Sh wow. That's a word, I guess. Sh wow. Anyways, so stay tuned. Another tool skirt just finished. Wow. Look, imagine this in a photo shoot. There's so many things you can do with the tool. Hi guys. So as you can see, I'm starting with this mannequin here. Um, I do recommend something that's going to be like easy to wrap around with the, the ribbon that you're going to be using. So first things first. Um, I know I'm using a red ribbon and I'm going to be using white and blue tulle, <laughs> but that doesn't matter right now. I'm just wanting to show you how I make a tulle skirt from scratch again. And this is just going to be a different uh, color scheme. So yeah, this is the red ribbon. Um, whoever you're doing this for, just get their measurements and make the ribbon in that size plus four, in uh, four inches so that you can tie it off mine nice and thick so that when you're sewing um, you'll be able to stitch through the tool as well as the ribbon that you're using. You want to tie it off as tight as you can. Now as for how much tool you need, I'm um, not really one to give you any numbers because really it's about how long you want your train to be. But like on average for me I use probably four 45 yards of whatever color that I've chosen in total. Um, but yeah, you can, you can definitely add in the length, you can make it thicker, it's really up to you and it's trial and error. I wanted to do a blue accent underneath, um, so that the white will still stand out in the snow. So when you do the front, you're going to want that to be the shortest pieces. And you just kind of estimate the length of someone's legs, like you look at your own, that's what I do. I typically look at my own legs and I go a little bit longer. It's better to have a little bit more than less. So yeah, I just kind of take my hips and I look at my feet footing and I go about that much more, so about here. That's the length, I hope that makes sense. I like make this shorter and shorter as you come to the front. So I'm taking it out there. And as I'm putting the tool on the, the ribbon, I'm making sure that it's really um, thick and bunched. You don't really worry about it being too flat, because when you sew it, it's going to flatten out. Before it. Okay. So this is the front, so you can go... You can do the same length if you want, don't be too... Um, stressed out about the length of it as long as you know it kind of gets longer as it goes and then in the front it's you know easy to walk in because when people when your models or clients are walking with the tool skirt um, you don't want them to trip so that's why I like to have it a little bit shorter in the front but 
if you're getting them to stand in one place, I don't see why you can't have the front long as well. to the length, make sure it's getting longer as you go, and turn it, so I just wanted to kind of show you um, how the length gets a little bit longer as you go, um, so that looks like it's just like the sides of the dress right now. Uh, where the hips are, and then the front is shorter. So I hope you can see that really good. So it's almost time to stop and then just sew what you've already put on here. Otherwise it's just going to be really annoying and really hard to do to sew if you put on more tulle. <laughs> this blue thread, it makes sense, but I only have black available, so that's what I'm going to do polyester thread so you're gonna want like a really thick needle to thread through the tool because it's so thick so I recommend getting like a thicker thicker needle I recommend starting on the outer part and working your way in so you just kind of pull on the tool um, start that thread and stitch away now, I don't really like to do too tiny of threading because it just takes so long. I want it very quick because this is for a client's photo shoot. But if you're making it custom made for someone, definitely take your time and stitch um, smaller, smaller threads. So that's what I do is I pull it and stitch. Just keep going until you're done threading the whole thing. Okay, so that's how it should look. I just want to like quadruple tie it off so <laughs> it's a thick knot. I don't know if that's obvious for people, but some people might not know that. Tiny. is not done yet after the blue. This is going to be your best friend. You're going to definitely need to get some clamps like this. And I'll leave a link down below this video on where you can find these on Amazon. So you can get this, because you need this. I'm going to go with teal um, for the train. I just think that that's going to look pretty cool. So this is the part where we go really long with it.
and you don't sew the fabric onto the ribbon, tie off here. Whatever you do, I've done it before. Okay, so time to sew. So it should be, so it's all sewed. This is what it should look like. And you just take the clamp off. Taking this white. I'm not gonna like, you know how you wrapped around um, the ribbon? with this one. I'm not going to wrap around with this, like, I'm basically going to take this much and just tuck it in. So, just like that. And then, when I said I want it more translucent, you can just kind of pull it out. So it just kind of barely covers. As you can see, I have now done the front. And there's a little bit of a peekaboo blue, and I really, really like that. So I'm just going to show you where I stopped, kind of. Yeah, so I did all... I'm going to sew it right now because I have it clamped off. just makes sense to do that. Um, so, so when I sew things, I actually, because I'm right-handed, I'll start from, like, the left side and work my way to the right. This makes your life a lot easier. I'll start on this side and go clockwise. I'm going to sew the white onto it now. And I use the black thread, but I would use white. It just makes sense to do that. I want to use the black so you can see where I stitched. Okay, so as you can see, I've already stitched all the white onto the ribbon now. And now I'm going to be working on the train. So I'm going to cover that up with some white tulle. See, that's what it's supposed to look like. It looks so much better than tying off your tool onto the ribbon. Um, hand sewing is by far just less bulky, more um, appealing. So, and yeah, don't use black for your thread. I just wanted you to be able to see my stitching. And I'm not really that careful of the stitching because, again, this is for a photo shoot. So if you're making this for someone, just do a better job of uh, stitching. You can use a bra made of flowers. For a maternity shoot if you wanted. This is just an example. But you can like create so many tops to go with this. Any top really. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tool skirt tutorial. And if you want to see more crafts from me, more um, headdresses, more, I guess as a craft, more makeup tutorials, um, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click that notification button so you're made aware um, every time I upload a new video because it's kind of exciting. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know how you guys, um, what you think of this tool skirt. Um, if you have any questions, I love hearing from you. Okay, take care guys. Until next time.